Hi, welcome to the channel. In this week's video, we're going to take our final walkthrough of Patty's ProMaster. Patty has the ProMaster 2500. I brought it from Connecticut here to Missouri to do the final build out. I've been sharing videos of the progress. In this week's video, I've got a ton done and I'm excited to share that with you. But I do have to say, we have had amazing weather here in Missouri and I really didn't stop to take a whole lot of time to do recording of the work. And I know a lot of people do like to see the process of that and in future videos, I do plan on doing more of the, the uh, process. But I'm on a limited amount of time on this build and because I promised Patty that she would be spending Christmas in her van and I really felt like with my schedule and her schedule that that was that that was very doable and I wanted to keep my promise. So um so I've been working very hard in this amazing we've had 70 degree weather in Missouri here in December. So I'm going to walk you guys through everything that I got done. I'm super, super excited with all the progress of the van. I've been sharing photos um, with Patty and she is, she's loving the progress as well, loving how it's coming out. So one of the first things that I did this week probably was the swivel seat bracket came in and that's a real easy install project. So um, actually on Thanksgiving day, I had the turkey in the oven. So I went ahead and popped that seat off and installed that swivel bracket. And one of the things about the swivel bracket I love is that it gives you that additional seating here in the van. Um, also, when you're on the road and you stop, and you know you can spin that around, spin the table around. If you've got a fast food, you can you can eat real quick and get back on the road. Um, the seat up front is comfortable, and um, so it's probably more comfortable than sitting on the bench seat and and just the wooden back behind you because that's got the soft you know bucket seat with the soft cushions on it so i do like that the pro master van this pro master swivel bracket the steering wheel doesn't tilt so to get that seat swiveled around, it's kind of a pain. A lot of times, unless I'm going to be parked somewhere for several days, a lot of times I don't swivel that seat all the way around. I turn it to the 90 degrees and leave it there because you can do that real quick while you're, you know, you're driving, pull the bracket, spin, and you're good. So, but I did get that installed this week, and um, that brings that bench that seat higher. I think Patty might like that. That that puts you higher in the driving zone. So um, I, I do like that about the seat. Although my feet now do not touch the floor. So we're going to build up the passenger one. We haven't found a seat bracket, a, a passenger seat yet. They're like $2,500 new. So Patty's going to occasionally have a dog with her or maybe down the road get a dog. So we're going to build that up and I'm actually going to make like a shoe cabinet there for her. And then that'll also elevate that area so that when she's in the driver's seat, she'll, her feet will be able to touch the ground, the base. So that'll be when I come back from my, I'm getting ready to take a trip. So that'll be when I come back. So, and then the other thing I did since I put that seat in that swivel bracket in i had to move that lagoon table over a little bit so i recut the front face of that move that lagoon bracket over so that when she's sitting in the front seat if she wants to get her computer she's got more of a centered um area to work at and it was kind of like this so i kind of centered that over a little bit better so got that done and then working our way over Underneath the refrigerator base, I got that massive drawer done. That drawer is huge. And um, so that will slide out her Instapot or, and all of her dishes will fit in there. That's a really huge, nice drawer. Above that, that refrigerator base, that front, we wanted to be able to take that off. So I made, I put some L brackets in there so that I could put some wing bolts in there 
so that she could take this front off if she ever needed to get that refrigerator out. She's like five foot one. The refrigerator's pretty heavy, so to lift that out of that cabinet would be pretty hard. So I wanted to do that so that she could just slide that out um, if she needed to get that out of the cabinet. So I got that done. One of the big projects that I got done this week is I got all the wall boards up so patty wanted to stick with the tongue and groove it really looks great all the wood in here the um that pine look it really looks good it really smells good in here um one of the things that patty didn't want to do is go with the a mattress that she had to cut the thermal rust mattress is real firm she wanted a softer mattress so she actually ordered one um, and I'll put the company name below she wanted she wanted um, and it's all natural products but it's 75 inches wide it's a it's a full uh, mattress the 75 by 54 so I had to make bump outs for the walls so i had to take that framing that i put up uh, down and make bump outs so that the mattress would then be able to fit in there it actually bought us like almost four more it actually it bought us five more inches so plenty of room to put the mattress i still do have to do the the trim out on that but the bump outs are done and the mattress could be put in here but i don't want to put it in when i'm still doing some sanding in that I got the TV bracket up, the reading lights up, all the USB ports, I got those up. Everything's wired to her 12 volt system. Um, also got her solar installed. What we did was we got um, three 210 watt panels. Those are connected in series and connected to the, um, the Blue Eddy. Also got her WeBoost antenna up and got the WeBoost uh, wire ran. What we're going to do is we're going to put her uh, antenna for the WeBoost inside the closet here up top. That way, all she has to do is open up this door, pull that antenna out. I'll make a little notch right here so that she can have the closet door closed have her wee boost out so she gets signal because she's going to be working a lot of times right here on the toilet bench have her this little table slid out and do her computer work or her office work and, and that there so got that all done so all kinds of progress underneath the sink the hot water heater i got that up on the bracket um all the piping for the shower nozzle i got that all connected like i said just one adapter one t bracket and you got shower so that's what i love about that system I put the shower nozzle in a little trash can. I like to do that just in case it drips for any reason, which sometimes can happen. Um, when Patty gets here, if she wants a little hook on the side um, of the wall, we'll install that. The only reason I, I have a hook, I put one up. But when I was driving that shower nozzle, it would just bounce on that hook and it drove me crazy. So just winding it up, putting it in the trash can was a win for me because I also had a shampoo container. It was full. It was a conditioner and it was full. I went up in elevation and it popped open and I had conditioner everywhere. So I felt like after I did the trash can, I put my shower nozzle in there just in case it drips. And then I put my shampoo products inside the trash can as well with the lid up. So worst case scenario, that thing pop, the lid pops up, but conditioner and shampoo doesn't go everywhere. So got that done. And, and then all the drawer fronts, I got those all put on. And I do have to do a little bit of tweaking on two of the drawers, but I really like how it turned out. 
and we we do have to put the handles on still but i'm gonna let patty pick out the color and the thickness of the leather when she gets here and i'll get those installed with no problem i put a base coat of the oil on the butcher block it was 70 something degrees yesterday and it has to be like in the 70s or higher to do that so without turning the heater on in here yesterday i was able to get the first coat on and that really protects that wood i'll put about three or four coats on that before um, before the van leaves here. So it really, really pulls out the color and the grain in that. So the attic space, I got that enclosed. I still have to do all the trim out. Those are hard areas to do. I still have to do those two little side panels there. But that I've got five days when I come back from my trip to work. And then Patty will get here and we'll have probably four more days to work um, on just hanging stuff. And I'll help her decorate, just hanging stuff for her. So anyway, that's the progress for this week's video. Lots and lots done. I hope you've enjoyed following along. On my next build, I do plan on hopefully showing more of the finish, more of the construction type work. I just really feel, you know, I really feel like I owe the customer uh, <laughs> all my labor. So I will work it out different on my next build where I can show more of the construction part of it. But I do appreciate you for following along on the on this build. Patty has really, really enjoyed the videos. I hope you have as well. So until the next video, thanks for following along. We'll see you on the next video.